Do I think it's right that some countries are rich while others are poor? Of course not. I think we should pull a Robin Hood on them. God does allow me to plunder as long as it's done righteously. In cases like that, he would not consider it stealing. He would consider it forced sharing. I realize that doing this as well as some of my other proposals would put me well to the left of the political spectrum, but it is the righteous thing to do. The great thing about being in a society that doesn't have the right and left is I don't have to worry about where my decision lies as long as it is the righteous thing to do. Yes, Jesus does love you. I am who I am, and who I am is your Father, saith the Lord. The Bible says no one who practices witchcraft is allowed into God's kingdom. Their place is the lake of fire. So even if you are a good witch, I will not let you in. You can go burn your white candles in utter darkness with the rest of the witches if you are not willing to give it up. I like to think I have thick skin and no matter what negative things have been said to me, I was able to take it. But the truth is every insult hurled at me has pierced my very soul. I told you to come to me and I stand here waiting for you to have the faith to do so. The world rebukes you if you beg or ask it for help. However, if you beg from me and cry out to me in faith, you will always receive help. I will never turn you away. If you think I need a reality check, Watch me put your reality in check. I must rely on God. I am revealing everything I know to you so you can follow, but follow it. But there are some things that God wishes to keep secret from you. So if I haven't told you something, it's because He hasn't taught it, me it either. Because He knows if He tells me something, I would be unable to withhold it from you. Therefore, he only reveals things to me when he's ready for you to receive it also. I have a hard time keeping a secret, if you haven't noticed. And it's almost impossible for me to keep something hidden from you. And that's because any truth I receive, I believe doesn't just belong to me. All truth that God reveals to me belongs to us. The main truth that belongs to us is that all of us have always been his children. This I faithfully witness to all. Bad things can happen to you even when God is with you. They are just a lot easier to handle when God is there to comfort you. And as long as you don't blame him for them, they will not last forever. This is the culmination of all things working together for good. To be king is a prayer of mine, but I believe God wanted me to be king before I prayed for it. No matter what happens, I am trusting in God and the Lord. Blessed are those who die in the Lord from now on, because they have died well in the Spirit. They will be forever in eternal peace with God because they chose to work on being faithful to Jesus and following God's commandments while on earth. And this has been given them a favorable place in God's presence in heaven. Do good for God on earth and He'll do good for you in heaven. Go ahead and say whatever negative things you want about me while you still have a chance. I need to be humbled also, because only the humble can come before God. When you're done, then it's my turn to humble you. Fair enough? 
This way we can both be presented to God, refined of our pride. You're going to let me destroy your pride or you're going to make me destroy you. I know some of you will accuse me of not being very loving in this book or not being very Jesus-like, but I'm actually being as loving as I can be considering what God is trying to accomplish. Maybe you need to read the book of Revelations again and you'll see that I am doing exactly what I'm supposed to in order to destroy God's enemies. Satan, I've come to displace you and send you to the lake of fire where God's wrath can abide on you and your kind forever. Talk about pressure. The hope of every Christian in the world rests on my remaining faithful to the end. And what makes it even harder is that at the writing of this, there is no man that will acknowledge me or help me. You're not forgotten, you're begotten. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No, nothing is impossible with God. No doubt. Don't object. Be happy and filled with hope because our Creator has not kept this truth from us forever. It shows that even though He is upset with us, He will still help us and have mercy on those who call Him Lord. Where is this coming, He promised? Since it is impossible for God to lie, you can be sure that He will faithfully bring it to pass even now perhaps. To those who love God, He will faithfully pour on the blessings He has promised. To those who do not love God, He will faithfully pour on the curses He has promised. He will make good on all He has said He would do. The Almightiness of the Almighty. My former name is so spotted as anyone who has ever lived on this planet, but my new name is the purest. It's one of righteousness and faithfulness. It's the name of the most infinitely honorable person who has ever lived. It is the name of your Savior, Jesus Christ. Every son of man needs to repent for saying that they were not begotten son of God, because it was a lie. God had me write all this so that the world would put its hope on Him. He wanted these words preserved forever so that mankind would never lose faith in Him again. Apparently God has the ability to create physical matter or he, we wouldn't be here, right? The real question that is, why did he use his power to do it? Maybe he gave his word to someone, which would mean everything. We came to understand as reality as a result of a promise being fulfilled. Someone was promised an inheritance, and we are that inheritance, and that someone could only have been his firstborn son, Jesus. 